Hello everyone. Today we're looking at part two of the police interview with James Soto. I won't be stopping the interview, I'll let it run and then I'll say a few words at the end because I know people like to see the interview. So grab a coffee, grab whatever your favourite drink is, sit down and buckle up. 2024 11 16 hours for OCS OK 313. Can you state your full name? Jennifer Lucette Soda. All right, Jennifer. So um, I'm here to talk to you today. We're going to talk. I'm in your. All right. Yes. Okay. Me, when you were with. So. Say Sunday. Okay. Heard her. I heard her Monday getting ready for school. Sunday night. About what time? Right. I have stopped it here because during this interview, this video recording, this tape recording of the interview, there are bleeps. There are quite a lot of bleeps, and that's because names, dates are mentioned, and the place of uh redacted the recording it is not us i'll say 11 p.m before she went to bed and you were here at home and where did she or something else with um, all going to sleep together <laughs> i needed some I, I yeah. Hey, can you guys go to the guest bedroom? I knew he was going to. Okay, so it's at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, I sent them up to bed. Okay. And that was about sleep together. Room with you typically. Typically. When he lives with his parents in North. He'll sleep in the guest bedroom. Okay. And Stefan is the one you're referring to. Yeah. Stefan. Oh. I'm going to say he's uh, visited at least two. Okay. Or, well, his dad had offered him a job. Over so I'm trying to get her. And he just visits. Yeah. Hours big. Uh, this time we had planned on him to help me with the dog. Help me. Okay. So this time he was planning to stay for a week. Uh, or what ride? I can't remember if he name. And so about what time did you hear? I heard everyone getting ready. 7 30, 8 o'clock. Steph. I have roommates. Um, oh. and, uh, zero. Okay. Is there anyone specific? because um he was trying to let the dog out and the dog gets really nervous to help him with that uh, uh get but uh he got him situated and took him here around kitchen but i'm not sure who it was exactly who it was exactly yeah gotcha. it could have been it. see her leave monday morning in bed or still in your room what time does she normally leave for school Around um, yeah. and she has to be to school back. 
928 is when the school starts. So you, I think, Stefan had agreed. Yeah. And they were going to stop it. She changed her mind last night. Okay. One uh, step, 18 in the morning, I stepped out. Done. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, he, he just, uh, that I stopped him. And he, he tried convincing her a few times. But she, and did you leave the house yesterday in the morning? Around 9.30. Had Stefan returned at all? No. Or there from, just so I have my times kind of right, on seven or eight uh, with the dog. Um, and then did you go back to sleep or were you just kind of in the room? I laid back down and went back to sleep. Do you remember what time? Gotcha. I named it. And in that time, in that time, you didn't see at all? Okay. You left. And then Stefan. From, she didn't want to go to McDonald's. Um, about her, he had, um, when they opened mm -hmm. and waited, but they never opened, hung out a little bit, and he came out eventually to the vape store. To so he left out for the day? Forty-five minutes to see me, so I fifteen. And was that? Go see you. Okay. Day look. It's fine. Uh, um, so I did my blood work, uh, and then I just waited. I waited for the rest of the day. Two thirty to leave. Uh, and to okay. go grab. Yeah, that car line. Approximately two thirty. Yeah. And pick up. Now when you go. I waited in the car line minutes, um, and she never came out. So I thought maybe she, I missed her. I called from school. Office. Okay. Office to see if she made it. She never did. I drove. Okay. I drove around a little bit, um, looking for her. I went back to the school. The school was closed at this point. Um, I wanted to speak to somebody at the office to see if anybody could tell me if she had been there. Uh, I think at this point I had called before I went to the school. I actually called her best friend. And I said, hey, "With you, I can't find her. She she didn't walk to the office, and she wasn't at school when I went to pick her up." She said, mm -hmm. "She never made it. Um, she, she she's it's a first or second period." And I'm like, "What do you mean? I dropped her off, or I, we dropped her off close to school?" And she said, "She didn't make it to first or second period." I said, "Please check with the rest of your friends." Uh, she did. She got back to me and said none of them saw her today. I emailed one of her teachers. Her teacher texted me her attendance for the whole day and told me she wasn't in school at all. That's when I knew something was wrong and I freaked out. Okay. Um, is it typical of to walk to after school? If I'm working, yes. 
and where's where, I mean in relation to the school like is it a close walk long walk it's a very close walk okay. in the morning if uh then moved did he live with y'all um so to get her ready in the school do y'all tend to split that responsibility or what does that look like typically i do it okay um, because of my work schedule because i do it and he said he would as he did is he familiar with how to drop her off and once or twice before? I'm not. He's been back. Well, not this time because he's done other times. He's done it maybe once. Hey, yeah. Dropped her off, or he dropped her off a block away instead of dropping her off to the school because she asked. Because she is embarrassed of his car. When did she I think Stefan might take you to school or he might pick you up. Can can he leave me here? Like I don't want to What car does he drive on? I'm curious. Oh, okay. Fancy taste, I get it. I get it. about this weekend where she may have said that she was want, wanting to hang out with something she used to do thing. We had a party. Uh, so she had time with friends and family. Um, okay. She came back with a lot of presents. Um, okay. No our arguments at home recently or anything? Has she ever validated everything to spend time by herself or by herself or something to kind of clear her own head? The lake was hot. This the dog got the, uh, by the lake. Did I check on her? I'm, I don't know if something here upset her. Not that it would be anyone's fault, but if there's somewhere that she may go for her life, peace of mind. Yeah. Does she do any extracurricular? Your um, your roommates. I know you told me their names earlier. Sure. And then... uh -huh. and... mm -hmm. Which is N A T H. Mm -hmm. Rosero. Oh, okay. If they're not here. Do you have to say? I've got anxiety. Or well, primarily speaks Spanish because, uh, and then Napoli. All right. When's the last time? I'm going to go. If she gets in trouble for she leaves laundry on the floor, okay. yes. um, she keeps her space. Right. So I, I kind of remember the actual argument. No. When I went through her second or third, mm -hmm. see, I was acting being nuts um yeah apparently i don't know we're saying this once but not in february but uh, you know if she continues to behave this listen um you know when she turns 18 i'm not going to want to live with her also i would ship her off to her dad where does her dad live okay thing to how often does she 
in a while. Um, yeah, we have one, yeah. Okay. Uh, text message or Instagram, don't message. Like, just so you're aware, she hasn't said anything to me or come visit me, so he doesn't have any information on where she might be. Okay. He's actually willing to come over here, too, if we need him to. Okay. Um, but she's never made any plans, I guess, to go see him. What's the dad's name? Her dad's name. Do you know his phone number? So I think it's this one. Houston, yeah. For how long? Way. Oh, so he's never had any like custody or anything no, of her? Nothing. Okay. And has she ever formed a relationship with him where they bond and talk? I guess I would she would be trying to him or meet up with them or with how limited he he one's in a blue right no, oh. no I would like him to but okay i don't think she would yeah yeah um she's left her here her sister. is it typical of her to leave she's got adhd oh, so she frequently forgets her time yeah okay. um Her uh, mental diagnosis. She's diagnosed with ADHD. Five, six. Um, time with autism. Um, diagnosis for a few years now. Reassessed her recently. Um, they weren't sure if she was autistic. So. Notice her. Look at that. Or function normally. Sometimes, because she asks. Sometimes she'll make some decisions, and I'm just like, where did that come from? Like, yeah. Here is a little, here would that be like the result of her? I guess, like, basically, does she, can she feed herself without the yeah. telephone so she can text and talk to people? Uh, she has friends at school. Gotcha. Has she ever complained about school? Uh, wait, I know it's tough on her. She's given a lot of work. She's always behind. Mm. Okay. And I think the deaf media a little bit, but um, actually, I can see if I can get anything else from, you know, we Typically, me being able to go through it and go through texts and social media it will help me, sort of, whatnot. That's something you'd let me do. You take for as long as I need it to actually go through it. So okay. um, I'll give it back to you as soon as I as soon as we get back to her, hopefully. Um, it's about all the questions I have at the moment. Um, you know her, her but I guess my, what do you think based off? Everything that you've learned so far. Based off of everything, me knowing her and knowing how she is and how tight knit we are, run away mm -hmm. uh, on that short walk from where she was dropped off to early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think she was in the morning, which is normal. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I think I, from what I understood, Orange came by the church in early that morning, and then she got up. And the video, uh, right here, video of actually what looks like her. Eight forty-five, just about that time, um, walking into that church park. Off. It looks like she sits there for about 15 minutes or so and then walks away. 
typical for her to wait at the parking lot too for my stepdad to pick her up from school. So it's not abnormal for her to hang. Um, can you think of any reason why she might have chosen yesterday more? Um, stepdad's not picking. Her up. I wonder if she knew, like, she was just trying to kill time a little bit. Mm-hmm. I need to the school. Like, yeah. She should have. Okay. Uh, I know when Stefan dropped her off, he said that he saw her rummaging through her phone as he drove away, like deeply looking into her, not her phone, her sorry, backpack. her backpack. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming she was looking for her phone and realized she didn't have it with her at that time. Got it. But, um. Okay. Does she have a, does she have any kind of boyfriend or significant other at school that she's ever talked about or expressed? She did recently. Oh, okay. And that's. Yeah, I'm gonna, nothing seemed weird. But you okay. can look through that as well. His Thank name you. is another. I assume another middle school boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's right out there. They just wanted to ask him a couple things, but I figured for the sake of time. Um, do you recognize this vehicle at all? I wanted to see if. Um. You want to know that anywhere? I don't know that part. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is the, it's hard to show you on my phone because the quality of the video just kind of gets worse when I, I've downloaded it from the church's computer uh-huh. and the quality just gets kind of worse. Um, can you make out like the shape of that being black shorts and that being a possibly a green jacket? I see the green. Would that, I mean, I know it's very difficult to recognize, but would that, would that be something some clothes that she owns or yes. would the quality be too bad for you to be able to tell based on that? I mean, the quality is terrible. Yeah. The color scheme. Would that be akin to something that she owns? Yeah. Gotcha. And the hair looks a little dark in the, yeah. from here. Dirty blonde. It, it, could, it could pass for dirty blonde. That could I possibly think, yeah. be her. Okay. Um, is that, I, I can't tell just from looking at it, but is that possible? Is that Stefan's car? It looks a little darker from there, but I almost can't tell like if it's a Toyota or a, it looks a little different. From the front looks different. That, that looks like a Toyota from the front. From and the front from it looks the, different, right? And then from the side, it could be. It's got a little. Cadillac. I mean, yeah, the grill is kind of the same. A little bit. The headlights look a bit the same. Okay, cool. And I just wanted to see if you kind of were able to to help me with that. Um, so this whole living in the woods thing, I have people like tromping through the woods right now on horses and ATVs and all sort of things, but has she ever mentioned that before? Just in that text that I saw. Just that's, that's the only time you've ever heard of it. Is she outdoorsy at all? Does she like camping? We used to go hiking. Okay. Uh, but we haven't done that in a while. Okay. Um, Where did you go? Is it around here? Where would we go? We'd go hiking in like St. Cloud. Um, like Lizzie Preserve is what it's called. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not that's, too, too far. It's about 35 minutes away. Yeah, okay. Uh, on 182. Um, like Lizzie Preserve, we've, we've also walked Shingle Creek before, but we haven't done that in a very long, long while. Got it. Um, but no, I know, the thing is, I started talking to her about World War Three. I was talking about, I'm like, hey, this is going on in Palestine and Israel right now. Oh, so you're talking to her about so the wars. I, I, was, I was telling her, I was talking to her about just what's happening politically, and I'm like, you know, I don't know what that means for us, but we'll see what happens. But I've talked to her about World War Three, so that's what I'm just saying. How that long ago was that? I mean, is that something that might have impacted ago. her? Yeah, I feel like okay. that's why when I read that conversation, I'm like, oh, that's directly co- related to me talking to her about what's happening in Israel, Palestine, and the potential World War III that might happen from that. Okay. And that's why she said she wanted to go live in the woods. Okay. Got it. All right. No, no, just wanted to wanted to figure out where that might have come from. Maybe help me see if she just wanted to be in the outdoors. Well, um, definitely. The World War Three conversation, that's definitely me. Okay. That was me. It's fine. I mean, that's fine. Um, so one thing that I think I, I may have misheard you say earlier, but I want to make sure that I have it absolutely clear is um, on Sunday night, y'all went to bed around 11. And the reason that you sent her upstairs with uh, Stefan was because you had work in the morning, was it? Or you just started a new job? I just started a new job and I haven't been sleeping well. Uh, I have to take 
I take psychiatric meds every night uh, for okay. my bipolar disorder. And yeah. if I don't take them the right way, eat and go to sleep on time, they don't work. They don't work. Yeah. So I was just like, hey, I really need these meds because I, I forgot them the night before. I forgot gotcha. them, I think, Saturday night. So Sunday I was not myself. So okay. I asked them, like, hey, I need I need to be medicated. I need to sleep. Can you take care of the morning duties so I can go okay. and sleep? Gotcha. All right. No, I just wanted I just wanted to make sure I understood you right because I was like, did you have work in the morning? Or I didn't write that down and I, I wanted to make sure I heard you okay. Are there any cameras in the neighborhood that you know of? Does anyone have any ring cameras? Do you have any security cameras out front? I'm gonna say there are cameras in the front, there are cameras in the back gate as well. Okay. Um, I know one neighbor around here has a ring camera, oh. but um I didn't want anything like that. Okay. Hey T, hey, how are you? Um, mm-hmm. and if you don't mind, just try to keep people out of um because I have a canine that's coming. If you don't mind, they're gonna try to run another track from the church and from here. Okay. to see if we can maybe try and try it again. You know, last night it didn't work out because the dog lost interest and they weren't able to continue. But I figured, you know, it's worth another try. The dogs are pretty good. So just try to keep them out of her room. We're probably going to use like a, does she have dirty laundry or like the a dirt, her, her most recent dirty laundry is oh. on my bathroom floor and we've walked around it. We haven't touched it. Okay, just keep people off of it. Yeah. Just let, and, and just, yeah. Um, and as much as you can, try to avoid crowding the, the front door for, for the dog. Yeah. So they know where to uh, where to go from. Okay. Just let me know when they're coming. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get. They're gonna call me um, when they're on the way. But just as much as you can, try to keep the scent uh, pretty pretty uh, fresh. Fresh. There you go. Cool. All right. Um, and another thing, I just wanted to to confirm because um, I know the last night was a long night. Um, but you said you. Uh, you said when you woke up around nine, you left your house at nine thirty for your doctor's appointment, mm-hmm. um, and Stefan hadn't come home yet. Mm-hmm. And then he called you at ten. You at were like ten fifteen, yeah. Ten fifteen ish mm-hmm. to say to have the conversation. McDonald's and yeah, she didn't want McDonald's, so he came home. Um, I think he had accidentally left his phone at home. Yeah. So he was just letting me know because I had blown, I had called him multiple times. Yeah. He was just returning my call going, I'm so sorry. I left the phone at home. I went to the vape store. I waited there for a little bit. Nothing. Um, yeah. Nobody was there. He came back home for a little bit and then went back out to the vape store. And then you, what time did you get home again? Was it around 11? Let me see. I'm going to say around 11, 11, 15. Because I think if I heard you right the first time, you got home at 11 and you and Stefan were both here and then he left to go to the vape store again. I did see him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to make sure I had that because, like I said, sometimes you forget to write things down, and I don't want to misremember. Um, but okay, that's all I uh, that's all I have for you right now. Um, we're we're still looking. I mean, that's unfortunately the best update I can give you is we're all we're all out and we're everywhere, um, asking people and looking. And I know your family's also doing the same. So um, if you get anything new like that that thing you sent me just a little bit ago that I can look into. Um, just keep on sending them to me, okay? Yeah. Were any of those helpful about the vehicles? There's something for me to look into, um, to look for for license plate readers and stuff. As of right now, I haven't been able to find anything else or confirm it, but I mean, it's still helpful for me to, in case something else comes across in the future. So, um, just, yeah, if you, if you receive anything else, let me know. But I mean, do know that obviously, it's like that kid pranked you earlier um, yeah. because it's so public. Um, you're going to have kids doing that. So, um, don't be too, don't be too scared by it. If, uh, if, if someone does that again. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hi. I don't know about you, but she just seems too calm. I know she's on medication. Right. But this is her daughter who's missing. This is only the next day, the Tuesday after she went missing. And she's so calm. But as we know now, uh, law enforcement are not looking at pressing any charges to Jen Soto. Anyway, we will look at this interview and the other interview of Jen Soto and the interview with Stefan Stearns and the body footage of the night Maggie went missing. 
on my live to know to 8 p.m so if you want to know more there's lots of information now coming out like a timeline of Stephen Stones, his timeline apparently so we're going to look over that um we've got news reports on why it took so long for the police to come out on the monday night and things like that so it may go into two lives i don't know but we're definitely going to start looking at this case again from like, the beginning up starting with these interviews and then the body footage and all that so until then have a good day if you haven't already please go and subscribe please like this video please share this video and i will see you all tonight